I regret my divorce. I made a mistake and fucked up our family. I still love my ex and I can't stop thinking if I could go back in time I would have tried harder to make the marriage work. Seeing my ex yesterday was very painful. When I was much younger, I made the foolish choice to marry very quickly and to marry someone I wasn't certain I loved or that loved me. Two years into our marriage, and just under 17 years of relationship, we were no longer sleeping with each other, and we were only vaguely sharing a life. I still thought we were at least friends for the entire time though, but that was not the case. My co-worker, whom I'm now married to, told me that he found out that my husband was having an affair. Long story short, I divorced my ex, and he divorced his wife at the time, we began a relationship with each other eventually, and we've now been married for five years and together for seven. I only spoke to my ex once after the day I found out he'd been having an affair. The anger I had only got stronger as time went on. A friend of my ex husband has been the secretary at the department I work at for almost a decade now, and I knew from her where my ex works. After the divorce my ex relocated the main office for his business. Now, recently, my husband, as in my current husband, has really been craving a specific meal with a specific type of roll that they don't sell at any grocery stores very close to where we live or work. Recently, I found that a grocery store only half a block from where my ex works has the rolls, so, yesterday I decided to go by there and pick them up. I thought that since it was Sunday, my ex probably wouldn't be in the area, and thus I could pick up the rolls in peace. I was wrong. I saw him while I was shopping there, and despite not speaking to him and him possibly not even seeing me, just seeing him was really painful and messed up my day. There was no love lost between us, but there was a lot of respect and friendship lost, and his cheating on me as I believed at the time was very, very painful, though I suppose without it I might not have ever married my current husband, who is my soulmate. Still doesn't really take the pain away from seeing my ex though. I should have just made an Amazon Prime account and ordered those rolls. We have known each other since we were 16. Oh, it was so romantic. We got married and have three kids one with high-functioning autism. I stayed home with the kids, my career went on the back burner. I became a homemaker and was delighted in my family unit. I did some freelance work to help bring in some extra money. My ex has his own business that we started together. The 2008 recession hit and we cleared out our savings and my 401k. We racked up credit card debt to keep the household going. Through all this, I was devoted to him. Helped him with his business. We were both exhausted and stressed. That's when the fighting started and I began to criticize him for any little thing I could, not making more money, not helping more around the house, anything I could come up with. By the end of the day, after trying to work take care of the house and attend to the kids, adding in the extra needs of a child with a disability, I would literally fall asleep as soon as I laid down. I started accusing my husband of cheating on me, I don't know why, he did not show any classic signs of cheating only a few late nights working. The late night work was justified because when you first start a business, extra hours are often necessary. I realized that now that I had an opportunity to process my entire life without distractions. Over the next few years, my accusations and criticisms increased. I know now it was only rage turned inside. We both were drinking a lot and tempers flared. Our friendship and love was strained. We tried marriage counseling but we both were so stubborn and his resentment for my accusations kept building. Then after my dad passed away, we swore we'd make things work. That we had so much to lose, our family, our home. I thought this was our breakthrough moment. Within two months I was right back in his face calling him horrible things. I decided to get a full-time job, my husband was against me working but I needed a break from my regular life. 
We had a long talk. He laid out the pros and cons of me working. My husband's logic made more sense than my need for a different routine. Money was tight at the time, but we had everything we needed. I vetoed his disagreement and got a job as a secretary at a pluming company. Within a few weeks, I had made friends, along with the other administrative assistants who were the only females working in the main office. Life was a little better but still strained at home, our fighting subsided only because we were not together as much. I started to enjoy my newfound freedom. Our child with autism started doing better in school and did not need our attention as much. My husband and I relationship was still not well, we had drifted into a dead bedroom. My husband tried to communicate with me, but I was still reluctant and kept my distance. As time went on at work, I started coming home later and going out with co-workers once a week. Not just the co-workers in the office, but a few of the plumbers who went out into the field and did the hands-on work. That's when I met my now husband, he was five years younger than me, he had a charm about him that I could not explain. We made a connection and I confided in him that I thought, without evidence, that my husband was cheating on me. He looked me in the eyes and said, why would he cheat on you, you are a little cutie. I smiled and told him, he was sweet, but I was looking to get a male perspective and not hook up with anybody. He smiled and said he respected the institution of marriage, but I was just stating a fact. After about 30 minutes of talking the young plumber told me he had a few days off during the week, and a few days off on the opposite week during the weekend, he could tell my husband and report back to me. I told him thanks but that was not necessary, I'm sure my husband would either get caught or we would work things out. It felt good being hit on, and I knew this young man was interested in me, but I was focused on making my home life better. Home life stayed the same, without my husband talking to me much. He was focusing on the kids and work, we were still not communicating and our bed life had not improved. My nights out with co-workers always ended up with me, and the young plumber talking the majority of the night. I started to worry that I would become the office gossip, so I was sure to include one or two of our other co-workers in our conversation, but they would quickly bore of the topics we were discussing and move on. After one too many I looked at the young plumber and asked him to follow L my husband. I was fed up with my home life and was enjoying the nights out with co-workers more than my family. I now know how easy it is to lose focus on the important things in life and how easy it is to allow a jolt of adrenaline can give you the wrong perspectives. I took out my cell phone pull up a picture of my husband, and the young plumber took a picture of my husband, I gave him my husband's work address and our home address. When I got home my husband was at the kitchen table eating with the kids, he looked at me with a look of disdain, he did not say hi and he kept eating. All of the kids stopped eating ran to me told me hi and said they missed me. At that point my husband said if you were home sooner they would not have to miss you and put his dish in the sink and went to the bedroom. I checked the stove and the refrigerator and my husband did not fix a dish for me, only left the dishes for me to wash. I know he was angry and only being passive aggressive, but I hate him for the way he was making me feel. During my next coworker get together the young plumber made his way over to me, like usual offered to buy me a drink. I never turned him down, he had a bit of a southern gentleman to him, and he would get offended if I turned down his drink offer or offered to buy him a drink. I asked him if he had a report for me and he said he saw my husband talking to a young blonde, they were speaking very closely. He said they did not kiss but it looked like they were more than friends. The anger boiled up in me and I cursed him in front of my co-workers. They all looked at me like I was crazy, only the young plumber did not judge me. This was the first night I kissed another man since I was married. Since I was not paying the young plumber I thought he needed a reward for his hard work. Later that night in the shower I felt so guilty and ashamed. I asked myself what the hell did I just do? 
My husband was not in bed and I looked in the kid's room and he was asleep with the kids. He looked so good and I ran out of the room crying. The next morning I did my best to make up for my actions by cooking breakfast and trying to give my husband a big kiss. He turned his head and focused on the kids. My husband always got this way after one of my nights out with my co-workers. I left work early and cooked dinner, the kids were happy to see me but my husband was still cold and distant. I cancelled the next co-worker's night out in hopes of improving my and my husband's relationship. My husband said in an angry tone no night out with your co-workers, I said no, I hope you, me, and the kids can do something. He said he was taking the kids to a movie and I could come along, then my phone rang and my husband was the closest to my phone and he answered it. It was the young plumber and he asked for me, my husband asked him who I was and the young plumber said he was a co-worker. My husband said it was late for a work call and the young plumber said he was checking to see if I was going to the work get together tonight, and my husband threw the phone to me, and said it's your boyfriend. I answered the phone and noticed by the way the young plumber was talking he had, had a few already. He asked me was that my husband and I said yes. He then said damn I thought he would be out with his girlfriend, I saw them kissing two days ago at the supermarket. My husband did go to the supermarket a few days ago, so I asked him if he was there kissing a girl and he said no, not this cheating shit again. We got into it and I told him to take the kids I was going to my co-workers get together. Of course, he was pissed and stormed out with the kids. That night the young plumber and I had sex in the bed of his pickup truck. The sex was good, new, and filled with passion. Everything I was not getting at home, something I was lacking in my marriage. When I got home, later than usual, I went straight to the shower. My husband opened the shower door and started arguing with me. We had the worst fight we ever had. Every name he called me I deserved but at the time I did not care because I thought I was getting even. More reports of my husband cheating from the young plumber and one day I said enough and filed for divorce. Looking back it was more of a bluff but my husband didn't even try to stop the divorce. I think my husband was as fed up as I was with our relationship, I really hated him for not loving me the way I loved him. Now I know it was me that keep the rift in our relationship and the hurtful things that I said to my husband when he was starting his business still bothered my husband. The young plumber showed me pictures of my husband speaking with his administrative assistant, the one picture that convinced me they were involved was a lunch date where they were sitting very close. We weren't even divorced yet when he started dating someone else. I'm insanely jealous and hate her. I hear about their vacations etc via my kids. We never even went on a vacation together. We were always working and money was always tight. It really fucking hurts. We were supposed to grow old and take care of each other. Now I am alone, working multiple jobs. The kids live with me but they go over to his place and play happy family with him and that bitch frequently. He lives in the same town still. When I see him it breaks my heart. He was the love of my life. I've tried dating, after my second divorce. But the problem is I just can't stop thinking about how much I missed the life I had with my first husband. How maybe if I did things differently we would still be a family. I got the house and the divorce and child support, my ex-husband got to keep his business. At the time the business was not very profitable and I made out better than my husband because we had a lot of equity in the house. I married the young plumber and the sex was not as good as the sex with my husband. After the newness wore off, he was just a young man searching for his way in life. With my ex-husband moving on, me and the young plumber married and we lived in the house my ex-husband and I purchased with my kids. One day my husband's phone buzzed while he was in the shower and it was a text from one of his friends from work. A regular text message so I decided to see what he and his friend were talking about. 
I was hoping that I would read about him telling his friend how great of a woman I am, so I started at the top of their text stream that went back over four years. At the very top was a message that said I'm going to make up stories about her husband so I can have her. I put his phone down and ran to the kitchen sink and threw up, I yelled out loud what the hell had I done. The kids came into the kitchen and asked me what was wrong and I told them I lost my wedding ring, everything is alright. All the times my husband was telling me that my ex-husband was cheating on me was a lie. When my husband got out of the shower I confronted him, I told him I read all of his text messages to his friend and I knew he had lied to me about my ex-husband cheating on me. My husband told me he loved me, the first time he saw me. He knew I was not happy but was afraid to leave my husband. He said he lied because he wanted me and I was not happy and I felt like you wanted me to. We went back and forward on how dishonest this was and he said he would have done anything to have me. I felt sick, I blew up my family all because of a lie. Sure we had problems but if I had listened to my ex-husband and not taken the job I would be still married to him and my kids would not have a weekend dad. Part of the reasoning my husband gave me was true I was not happy, but I did not want to make a decision based on lies. I can only blame myself I was the one who was unfaithful. The next day I called my mom and asked her to watch the kids after school, my two youngest kids still lived at home. Something I'm so ashamed about is I told the kids that their dad cheated on me and that's the reason why we got a divorce. At the time of the divorce I was very angry and petty. Once I realized my husband business was doing well, I talked poorly of him every chance I got to the kids. To the point where our oldest stopped speaking with him. My husband scorned me for my actions but I thought they were justified because he broke up our family and was having the time of his life with his new family. Our two youngest kids elected to have visitation with my ex. I can't stress enough in this post how sorry I am for everything that transpired and if I knew how to make this better I would. My ex hates me and only tolerates me because of the kids. Our oldest got married a year ago and did not invite her dad to the wedding, my husband walked her down the aisle and gave her away. My ex-husband discovered this though Facebook, and he left a million messages on my phone telling me how hateful I am. My desire to get revenge based on a lie was shameful, this is what my ex-husband said when I confronted him about his cheating in front of the kids. He swore up and down that he did not cheat, offered me his phone and agreed to take a lie detector test. I just told him to get out or I was going to call the police. He went upstairs and packed and bag and I could hear him crying and the kids were begging me not to kick their dad out. I had tunnel vision at the time and wanted to hurt my ex the way he hurt me, when he got to the door with his bags he looked back at the kids and told them he loved them. I could see the pain on his face, he looked at me then turned around and walked out. I hate myself, and I deserve all of the hate I received in the comment section. Now I know the truth, and I'm not sure how I allowed my husband to fool me, maybe I just wanted out of a bad marriage. Now that I look back our marriage hit a rough spot and we did not know how to navigate our challenges. I bailed when what I thought was my knight in shining amour came along, but he was really a sheep in wolf clothing. My ex tried to convince me he was faithful all throughout the divorce process, but I was steadfast that I was going to make him pay for betraying me. He made the divorce process difficult which proved he loved me and our family. I let my anger get the best of me, and lost sight of the great years that we had. I told my kids the truth, my daughter cried and asked me how could I be so stupid and walked out. To this day I don't know the answer to that question. I know one day I have to tell my first husband the truth but I do not know how. Our oldest met with her father and they mend their fences, now she is not speaking with me and only see her siblings when they go over to their father's house. Seeing my first ex-husband is hard I've been so depressed lately I want to die. I divorced my husband, quit my job, and now I and my two kids live at home alone. 
I've made so many mistakes I don't think I deserve happiness. Op I do not know what people expect their marriage to be after 15 years of marriage and three kids. A marriage is like an ocean where you have to contend with the ups and downs. Lack of communication and a desire for constant bliss doomed your marriage. Sometimes the mundane is not too bad. Thank you for listening to today's story. Please comment below on your opinion of today's story. If there is a story you would like to share with me please email the story to me. If you are not subscribed please take the time to subscribe and like, and I will see you in the following story, take care.